Hookah lounge. The Buddha. Yes, I know. Shall we talk about the elephant in the room? Beneath when this thing falls. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. We well, have a road trip today. We're going to the American Academy of Arts, Arts Museum. Museum. Um, you know, uh, literally known as the Oscars Museum. Yeah. So, Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I read that they have 13 million, you know, um, items in that wow, museum. Wow, 13 million? Yeah, wow. and it's really a big museum for motion pictures and related materials. So. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's something quick and easy yeah. to do. I'm taking a break from Zumba today, so get to see it. It's going to be and fun. we are going to be with our dear friends from here from Palm Strings. Yes. Yeah, so you get to meet them later. All right, so can't wait. So this is Dennis, our friend, so he'll be taking us to the American Academy of Arts Museum. So, yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you'll see more of him later. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> and I've got new tires. Oh, nice. Two quarts of oil in gas. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, they're gorgeous and I tires. The car. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Well, yeah, it, was, it really needed watching that. finally arrived at the LA County Museums. Apparently it's a section here where there are all different types of museums, including the La Brea Tar Pits. So we just saw the sign and said, so we're gonna go see the La Brea Tar Pits. You know, you can smell it from here. Yeah. Ooh, I can smell it. Yeah, it says here, the tar pits have trapped LA's plants and animals for thousands of years. So they dig in these pits to find the fossils they preserve. These digs turn up new fossils and surprise us daily with new discoveries. And the Tar Pit Museum houses the world's largest Ice Age fossil collection. Wow, interesting. And look, it, I can smell it, right? Yeah. Adam. You can smell it and you can see the bubbles. So I have this mm. hot tarry mix. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go see it from another vantage angle. Point. Yeah. So we're here at another vantage point. Take a look at this tar here. You can see it, you know, bubbling from the bottom, these bubbles coming up to the surface. And you can smell the tar. And around it they have all these weeds and it really looks Kind of neat, kind of pictures the way it was, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, probably millions of years ago. Wow. <laughs> what do you call this? The mammoths. Yeah, the woolly mammoths. Mammoth. 
So obviously they're not real, but it's just a depiction. <laughs> Yeah, apparently in the Star Pit uh, Museum, they had actually put a fake uh, mammoth. These are Colombian mammoths that mm. were designed. It's, you know, the artist's vision of what they look like. Yeah. And that, the middle one is moving, actually. Yeah, I was wondering. So. I was sitting there and I said, am I getting dizzy? Yeah. Or is it moving? And apparently it it's is. moving. And you know what? I really am not a fan of the smell of the asphalt. And then I'm smelling it right now. The tar. Ooh, it's really strong. But it's good to see it. Because, you know, the series La Brea. It's inspired by this. Of course it is. <laughs> Brea Tar Pits Museum. And it actually houses the largest collection of ice age fossils in the world. Look at that giant sloth. The giant sloth is one of the mammals that lived here, along with woolly mammoths, camels, saber-toothed tigers in LA, yeah. And then they all died off, and then the smaller critters, like coyotes, rabbits, uh, mice, those are the ones that survived. Steve. So you see this sculpture in front of me is called Levitating Mass. And it was conceived by an author um, named Michael Heitzer. So in 1969, he had this vision to put up this beautiful thing. And it was only realized in 2012, so it took many years to get his dream realized into this sculpture. It's really interesting because you can take your hand, put it up and just make a picture that it looks like you're holding up this uh, giant rock formation. Really interesting. We're going to walk. See, you see a lot of people here taking pictures. Yeah, a lot of photos. I would hate to be underneath this rock when it falls. <laughs> wow. Yep, it looks like a rock. <laughs> and it's held up by four bolts here and two, four, five bolts here. So uh, this rock ain't going anywhere. It's really nice. It's very simple, but in its own way, it's really beautiful. So it's, it's pretty. Yeah, and then you said this art was conceived in the, in the 60s? 
Yeah, the idea was in 1969, the conception was 1969, and it wasn't really realized until 2012. So that's how many years, that's like, like 40 years after. It's a very popular sculpture, and it's within this section in LA called the LA County Museums. So they have a variety of museums around here. They have artwork everywhere. They have the La Brea tar pits. So next, we're going to be going to the museum. It's called the Oscar Museum, and it has a history of film and uh, television and radio, all different stars. And um, you have to pay to get in. Um, but they have a, uh, what do you call, discount for seniors. So just so you know. This art installation of lampposts that's here at the Los Angeles um, Contemporary. Museum, Contemporary Museum of Modern Art. So it's right here and it's really very impressive. So very impressive. And it's very popular actually. So the name of this piece, this wonderful installation, is called Urban Light and it was made in 2008. The person that did that was Chris Burden. Wow. And it's made from cast iron, so it's kind of like a makeover of a cast iron street lamps. Okay, so right now this is the front part, which is a fantastic view of these um, wonderful lampposts. And we're going to see it later tonight. So uh, when we get back home, you can actually see it lit up and it's supposed to be very, very impressive. So uh, I'm anxious to see that, if time permits, we will see it lit up tonight. So we finally made it here. Yeah, and we're going to be entering the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. And it's also called the uh, Academy Museum. And you can see the elevators over here. There's just like a, a transparent glass shaft that goes up. So, wow, amazing. So I can't wait to get inside. It's closed on Tuesday. Who knew? Oh, no. So we finally got here only to find out after driving two and a half hours from Palm Springs that it's closed on Tuesdays. Who'd have thunk? Yeah. <sighs> So anyway, instead of going to the Academy Museum, we're going to the Los Angeles Contemporary Museum of Art. And it's free today. So that's a plus. We can go here with the dog. So when, when something happens that kind of thwarts your plans, something comes up to make it better. <laughs> So here's Dennis being artsy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So right now we're in the Pablo Picasso wing and we're going to just be looking at each one of these photos from the great Pablo Picasso. This is a wonderful, pivotal piece about Diego Rivera called Flower Day. It's just so beautiful. And right next to it is a portrait that Diego Rivera did of Frito Kahlo. Uh, Latouche Retracti, actually. Yep. Uh, well, his color and blending with the contemporary of the band. Bel Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Andy Warhol there? Right there. This is a Lichtenstein. Beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The Roy Lichtenstein. And then, and then this one over here is an Andy Warhol, yeah. the iconic Campbell's tomato soup picture. Okay, we loved a lot of, like a lot of the art here. It's so amazing. Some of it may be a little bit beyond my uh, understanding, but take a look at this picture. It's called Automatic Painting. Black number three. So this is a third black painting, I assume, since it has a number three about it. But it's just a canvas with just totally black. 
So, welcome to the museum. So, don't touch anything, yeah. So this is an immersive art. So right now we're in immersive art installation. It's supposed to be a garage and it's supposed to imitate the sounds, the smells of a garage. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge of things. You have to sign up and make a reservation to come in here. So we were really lucky we were able to get a spot. Bringing back the memory lane. This is dead. Oh, it's a three-quarter bed, and we had, I had one. I gave it away when I was here. I moved oh my God! Right yeah, in. these beds. We we always had one of these. Uh, yes, uh, right. I remember. I had a grocery little red wagon. I had that radio kit. Right, exactly. Wow, spackle. I have a trunk at the end of my bed now. Yeah, and, spa and the television. Oh, watch bed that we used to take. We used to do the uh, play in the in the water when we were kids in a, in a, in a uh, bin like that. Uh huh. Wow. So this right. really <laughs> kind of like hodgepodge of memory lane from the 40s and 50s. Okay, I'm going into the next room. No, let's go. Old three doors. Oh, this looks like my father's workbench. Yeah, my yeah, dad's too. So take a look at this. This looks like my father's workbench. So this is meant to imitate, you know, an old garage and things that it got. It just kind of brings horseshoes. back you memories. Play horseshoes. You were a kid. Yeah, horseshoes. Well, I didn't play horseshoes, but no, I anyway, had, I had to. It was part of my. Me and try to be butch when I was little. It's your farmer upbringing. Yeah. And look at this car. Wow. Advance to the future. Oh, look at this coin collection set here. There's a coin collection set here. Over here. Because I collect coins, you know, this is a... Uh, wow. And there's a microscope there. Microscope. Where's Howdy Doody? Right in here. You know? Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Where's Howdy? Tip top. Right over here. Oh my God! Doesn't that look so Americana? That is such an that's such an unattractive haircut. <laughs> I mean, that's a Jacob's ladder. What they didn't. And then books. Well, all the cells go. Who's this? I go. Oh shit! Oh, that's way beyond. That's way way before I was born. I want to see the My other. sister would love this in here. Oh, this is great. Oh, when you see her house someday, you love the Oh, yes, yes. Those are. My father would boil spaghetti I there. The typewriter. Yes, oh, God. Look at the old knob and tube wiring there. Does this bring back memories? Well, mm -hmm. the knob and tube wiring. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. So scary. We all it does weigh a ton. 
What is it? It's a what? What, what? what the hell is that? It's a maker, like, yeah. like yeah. Chevrolet. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Evan Ray. Yeah. It was, it was How come I don't know about that? Did you ever have a boat? If you no. Know, that's right. probably why. <laughs> Evan Rigg. If you know and, uh, the rescuers, the Disney movie, the rescuers, mm -hmm. yes. part of the thing is the uh, dragonfly pushing the leaf around to carry the rescuers to the little girl on the boat. Uh -huh. And the, the dragonfly's name was Evan Okay. Well, uh, thank you for that. Yes. I loved it. I was my growing up. It brought back memories, it didn't many, it, Dennis? Many nice memories, and you definitely. know, even though I'm not as old as he is, it still brought back memories for me because a lot of it I saw in my grandfather's garage, and my father used to have a workbench that was very similar to that. Yeah, no, I call him old Evan Ah, Evan Yeah, exactly. No, it was, it was a great work, great worthwhile exhibit. That exactly. I love. I don't see it. It almost looks like a photograph. So beautiful. The artist is... It doesn't have the name. Psycho Spaghetti Western number seven. 2010 to 2011, acrylic on canvas, private collection. Wow. And just paint something that's minimalist, that has just a few elements in it that capture a lot of meaning. I mean, it makes you, as our friend just kind of like reminded me of the saying, give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Actually, they'll take a yard, but the meaning is very clear here. The painting up there looks like wood, it, it, but it's actually painted. It's amazing artwork. That's a nice pig. I like that. Shall we talk about the elephant in the room? Well, my fan is funny. Wow, it's a very interesting black room. It's called the chocolate room. The chocolate room. And according to this, no sense they are real chocolates. It's, it's real chocolate applied to paper, I can't say. Uh, is that what you said? It's chocolate applied to paper? 
Because of chocolate pastry on to Belgian chocolate. Belgian chocolate. But that's of course I think you call it. And one of my favorite breakfast meats, but I also like bacon too. Please do not touch the sculpture. Okay. Wow. This is amazing. Just go inside too. And then they have these things inside. You have to go inside here. Oh, we just kind of... Amazing. So it's all steel bands that took like two and a half years to make. Oh my God. That's vandalism there. It says queen. Oh my God, it's sad. Yeah, so they explain it pretty much there that this happened around the 1950s where Mexican-Americans who used to live in the northern part of Los Angeles Hills were evicted to make room. So white people could move Well, there. the oh. Dodger Stadium. Oh, wow. So they built a stadium and they evicted all of these families. So it kind of just rehashes the things about gentrification, eminent domain, and things like that. So a very important part of history, a very sad part of L.A. history. Wow, 
It's been fun, huh? This has been amazing. This museum I want to come back to again. There's so much to see. It's more, it's so interesting. It's not just pictures, but a lot of the pictures have the political message, have, have the social message, and uh, I really appreciate that. And some of them show the, the shady parts of American history, you know, which is really sad, but I guess every country evolves in its own way, but. Bro, well, now I can say that I've been to the La Museum. Yeah, it's great. It's great, so there are three floors, and each floor has their own thing. I loved, what do you call it, the, the garage area. I love the picture, you know, that typified the eviction of Mexican-Americans, you know, because that was really very poignant, very sad, but it was very impactful. And you know, the painting about the Zoot Suit riots in 1943, where American servicemen attacked and brutalized, you know, anyone who wore Zoot Suits. And they ripped those Zoot Suits, you know, from the people, you know, so uh, there's a lot of very sad history about that. But. Get to go to the American Motion Picture Arts Museum, which we would have had to pay to get in. This one, it was free, so we just lucked out. Every second Tuesday of the month, they are free. So check it out. Yeah, it's really worth seeing. And but Lakma is closed on Wednesday, and the uh, Oscars Museum is closed on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, right? All right. All right. Now we're gonna have to go. We're going to Yamashiro's, which is a famous Japanese restaurant. It's about four miles away from here. It has a beautiful garden, and it's where they filmed the L Word. A lot of, uh, a lot of different films. A lot of different films were filmed there, so we're really anxious to go see it. Follow <laughs> the fish. <laughs> Look at that. I've always wanted to come here. Yeah. So we're gonna eat with a view. That's perfect timing, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, I know. Going to have dinner at the Yamashiro. I've always wanted to come here, and now I'm here, yay! Give me up. So we're right here at the famous Yamashiro restaurant, which was established in 1914. It has an incredible view of the Los Angeles skyline, and it's very famous. A lot of films have been filmed here, including The L Word and what else? Kill Bill. Kill Bill. So it really is probably, you know, just fantastic. It's iconic. And I'm hoping the food is good too, so we can go to walk and hopefully we can get in early. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. It's so cool here. Sitting here relaxing, enjoying the view. It's amazing. There's a big Buddha over there. It's hookah lounge. Buddha. Yes, I know. It's a hookah lounge and apparently we can't get in there right now, but we can see the back of the Buddha. Yamashiro Guns, the pagoda bar, I guess, is over that way. So let's check this and go down here. And just what I love is just the water flowing down. It's, it's a very peaceful feeling. Wow. I love the way the trees are bent. Look at that. It's just like so beautiful and peaceful. Look at 
get a great view. I got I use my old trees, the bonsai like trees. Uh -huh. It's all just beautifully done. It looks like a light design in design. So just right here you can sit, it's uh -huh. cool. It's so beautiful. Oh then look at the the Beautiful. Griffith Labyrinth. Oh, that's Griffith. Okay. Can you see the a little dog? Yes. The cream base thing and it's baked. Oh, but we can. Can we trust the stone? Oh, yeah. They have salt and pepper calamari, Marconi. Lobster karage. Yours looks good. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to finish. Well, and this is thank for you for recommending this, this place. For Dennis, who we. So right now we're in the central court of Yamashiro restaurant, which is over a hundred years old. And you can see this incredibly beautiful garden, Japanese garden, right in the middle of the uh, a restaurant. And this is where they film some of the fight scenes from the Kill Bill. So I don't know if you remember that movie, but there was a great fight scene here between uh, Lucy Liu and Lucy Uma Liu Thurman. And Uma Thurman. It was yeah. uh, pretty violent. But this is where it all took place. It's, it's really incredibly place. beautiful. Yeah. I love it. You have koi fish there, you have my Buddha, mm. you have a beautiful bridge. It's so peaceful. Oh. Of course, they had to uh, put snow here, so, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. So, we are heading to back to Palm Springs now. Yeah. It was a wonderful trip here. This is a wonderful day trip. It didn't turn out exactly the way we expected, but something better came in its place, you know? We were able to go see a wonderful museum, despite the fact that the Academy Museum was closed. But yeah. It turned out all right. Yeah. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. All right. Just had a wonderful dinner, too. Yes. Bye. Bye. right back where we started but now the lights are on no, it's so no, no, beautiful no, 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 no. yeah
This is the automotive museum. Oh, this is the automotive museum. Yeah. Oh, God, this would have been nice, too. All right. Look at that. Especially for 